Hello everyone, this is Tuana from Llama Index, and in this video I'm going to quickly walk you through how you can use Llama Cloud nodes in N8N workflows. These are open source nodes that we've just created, and it brings Llama Extract, Pars, and Llama Cloud indexes to N8N workflows. In this video, we're going to be looking at a very simple example. As you can see, I've already run this workflow. And what it does is once there is a change in a specific folder, specifically in my case, the invoices folder on my machine, we extract the relevant information using one of my own Llama extract agents I have in my Llama cloud project. And then I send an email with some of that information. And also I label that email. For example, that resulted in the following in the invoices label. I have now a new invoice email with some information about the invoice. So let's see how that is built. To start off with, we have three main products in Llama Cloud right now. We have Llama Pars, Extraction, and then also the Index. I'm going to be showing you the Extraction agent. In my case, I have an agent called the Invoice Extractor. So what this does is it is an agent that uses a large language model to extract some information in this case, I use the invoice schema. So it's information such as the invoice number, um, the uh, amount, the total amount, um, the merchant, and so on. You can, of course, create your own extraction agents. You can either use one of the pre-made schemas, for example, research papers or filing reports and te technical resumes and so on. And then once you publish that configuration, it is ready for you to use in a N8N Llama Cloud node. All right, so let's see how we would then build this whole workflow. Initially, what I want to do is I want to create a trigger, which will execute whenever there is a change in a given folder. In my case, I am watching my invoices folder and I watch for whenever a new file is added. If I execute this step, as you can see, it's now waiting. So let's actually add a file into this folder. All right, I've added a new invoice. And as you can see, it's just an add event. And here is the path of the file that I've added. Now we can use that path and send it to my invoice extraction agent. So the way we do that is we look for Llama Cloud nodes, and I'm going to be using Llama Extract. And what I need in this case is the ID of my extraction agent. So let's have a look at that. And I can copy the ID. And the path comes from my previous trigger. And I execute step. If I like, I can also possibly have a look at the extraction results here. As you can see, it's in progress. All right, now I have all of the structured output that I want from this invoice from my extraction agent in Llama Cloud. Now I can use that information to construct an email. In this case, I'm using the Gmail node and I am going to send a message. And let's, I've already connected to my Gmail account and let's send it to my own email address. And in the subject line, for example, we can add the invoice number. Let's type out a message. In this case, we can get the bill to information. And we can also get the total amount. And let's leave it at that for now. We can also create a sender name. In this case, we can call it Llama Invoice Agent. All right, let's execute that step. Now, this has been sent, but I want to actually label it as an invoice. So I get it in my invoice folder in Gmail. So let's use add label to message. I get the message ID from the previous step. 
and I label it invoice. Perfect. Now, if I were to go back and refresh this, I have a new email. Here's my invoice, and there's some extra information about that invoice. And that's it. You can also look for other Llama Cloud um, nodes, such as Llama Parse, which is ready to parse a PDF file, and Llama Cloud, which you can connect to any given index name. Um, and once you provide that index name, you can use this Llama Cloud node as a retriever and then connect it to other nodes, such as an OpenAI message or similar. All of this is open source. You can have a look at the GitHub repository and add any extra functionality that you wish to have in the NA10 Llama Cloud integration.